Okay, so I'm going to quickly go through a little MATLAB script that I've written for solving one of these virtual work beam deflection problems. So in the notes, we're going to use tutorial one for virtual work deflection of a beam. So we have a six meter long beam subject to a 10 kilonewton load at four meters from the left hand end. And we'd like to know what the deflection is at point C, two meters from the left hand end, and also what the rotation will be. We're gonna leave the rotational stiffness EI and just find out what the deflection is in terms of EI. So I'm gonna to go to MATLAB and I'm gonna clear the screen and clear all, get rid of everything out of memory whatsoever. And I'm gonna bring over the script that I wrote onto the screen so I can share you through it. So when I run the script, it's gonna clear all of the stuff from memory and clear the screen like I've done anyway. That's just good practice. A top thing you ever write in any MATLAB script. Okay, so I'm gonna put some input so that I've got the geometry, the three lengths as you go along the bar. So you can play around with this. This is now in meters. I started off in millimeters, but I want uh, in meters for now. I'm gonna put the point load is 10. Like I say, I've left E and I out of it, but you could put them back in later if you wanted to calculate the real deflections. Now, the first thing to do to invoke using the symbolic mathematics toolbox in MATLAB is declare which variable is going to be the symbolic variable. So for us, we're interested in the distance along the beam X. Okay, and then what I need to do, and you need to do this away from the computer screen, is write down your bending moment functions as you go along the beam. So I've got the bending moment function as we go along this beam from the real load. So we calculate the reaction RAY, RBY, and we make a cut somewhere between naught and four meters. And we can write down a bending moment function. And we can also do a second cut and write the bending moment function between the load and the support of B. So in my MATLAB script, I've got M1 is P upon three times X. M2 is still P upon three times X because the load hasn't started. And then M3 from four meters to six meters, P of three, P upon three times X minus P into X minus L1 plus L2, so that's four meters. Now I'd like to know what the deflection of the beam is at point C. So I apply a unit load at point C in the Y direction. And again, calculate my reactions, calculate my bending moment function. So my little m's for the method are two thirds of x, two thirds of x, and then from two meters onwards after the point load kicks in, x minus L1, which is x minus two, then two thirds of x minus x minus L2. Oh, sorry, L1. And we do again the same idea, but we now want to do this for a point moment so we can do the rotation at the point C as well. And what I've done in the code, this is up on my uni, so you can run it for yourself, is I've used a symbolic maths for, uh, function int. And so int m m1, so this is just a variable, equals, I multiply m1 by m1, and I let MATLAB do the hard work. And it integrates with respect to x, and pumps, there's no semicolon, the answer will go to the screen. Then the next thing I can do with the symbolic maths toolbox, exactly the same, so I'm gonna overwrite the old answer, so int m, m1, and I use the same function, but if I add some extra uh, inputs, MATLAB is clever enough to know what I'm trying to do. In this case, with this extra input, I'm performing the definite integral. So. I integrate over x, but I'm integrating between naught and L1, so between naught and two meters. And finally, so, and that will give you a symbolic output as we'll see in a second. And finally, I'm gonna convert that to a double precision real number. And I follow that down, I do it for MM2 and MM3. And finally, I can say that the deflection at C equals those three components added together. And I repeat exactly the same process for the rotation at C. 
I've pop I've added the little R so I'm going for the rotation now and I've just gone straight for the double precision real variables as the outputs and I can work out theta in terms of over EI is equal to these three integrals added together so let's go straight to MATLAB and we can run the script so we can either at the MATLAB command window we can type in the name of the script I've got it written here on this side here or if you're in the script check that it's already saved and you can click the green red green run button at the top press the green run button and the output comes on the screen so and everything without a semicolon is output so I have the int m1 equals 20 x cubed upon 27 which is 160 over 27 and then get that as a double precision rather than a fraction which is 5.92 same with the mm2 so 520 over 27 and the mm3 and that's a much more uh, complicated formula but I didn't have to do this using my brain I get MATLAB to do the hard work and that was 160 over 27 and I add them all up and I had 31.1 over EI was the final answer for the deflection if I put numbers in for EI I can get the actual deflection in millimeters or meters whatever units you're using do the same for the rotations and I get from my rotation is minus 11.1 so minus meaning it's going clockwise and 11.1 and that will be in radians okay so that's just a quick run through that's on my uni for you to run for yourself and if you want for any other problems you can check your answers a couple of ways one is write your own little script like this because there are plenty of places where you can multiply minus signs out or get the integral wrong or lose track of your m1 times m1s and m2 times m2s you can lose track of these very easily as you go along or you can then check these answers if it's a really simple problem point load on a beam point load on a cantilever udl on a cantilever you can get an analytical solution online so let's a new window so straight to our good friend Google so let's go uh, deflection cantilever beam UDL let's go for that why not and in the images you get these images of standard solutions that you would let me just zoom this up a little bit but would be in the inside of textbooks back in the day but these days you can just download them so that's on Pinterest, so that I'll probably want you to log in. If not, there's even YouTube videos explaining how the solutions have got there. Uh, but generally, there's like this here, engineeringfeed.com. You'll get these list of solutions. Okay, so going back to MATLAB. So that's one way of checking. Use MATLAB, write these, double check your answers. And then the third way is you go to something like SkySib and use SkySiv to calculate the deflections and the rotations at the point. Well, not SkySiv, some other frame or beam analysis package. Okay.